Recording by Anna. The Mysterious Hand by Pu Solin. Several traders who were lodging at an inn in Peking occupied a room which was divided from the adjoining apartment by a partition of boards from which a piece was missing, leaving an aperture about as big as a basin. Suddenly, a girl's head appeared through the opening with very pretty features and nicely dressed hair. In the next moment, an arm, as white as polished jade. The traders were much alarmed, and thinking it was the work of devils, tried to seize the head which, however, as quickly drawn in again, out of their reach. This happened a second time, and then, as they could see no body belonging to the head, one of them took a knife in his hand and crept up against the partition underneath the hole. In a little while, the head reappeared. When he made a chop at it and cut it off, the blood spurting out all over the floor and wall. The traders hurried off to tell the landlord, who immediately reported the matter to the authorities, taking the head with him. And the traders were forthwith arrested and examined. But the magistrate could make nothing of the case and as no one appeared for the prosecution, the accused, after about six months' incarceration, were accordingly released, and orders were given for the girl's head to be buried. End of The Mysterious Head